In the beginning, God who is light, and always have been, created the heavenly host, consisting of certain ranks of angels. The four beast, and the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, and is, and is to come. The twenty-four elders, whose purpose of life is to forever worship him that sits on the throne, and to impart knowledge to those of God's choosing. The host of thousands of angels, whose service is to minister to both God and man. And before all this, the creation of water, as Psalms chapter 104, verse 3 says. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Of which he laid his kingdom upon the face of, as the habitation for himself, and his heavenly host. So God has created the habitation for his angels, and joined them in it. There is no sun, moon, or stars to give light there, for he is the light thereof. And there is no time there, since all things there are eternal, and there is no sin or evil there. And neither is there a man there, as he is to come after. And all is well in heaven. Then one of his creations named Lucifer, who was more beautiful than all his other creations, because of his great beauty, became lifted up and full of pride, began to talk to the other angels with lies, to get them to rebel against their maker, and he as their lord, confronted God. This is where sin originated, it originated in heaven, as a result of pride, before the creation of man. Now, Lucifer turning his back on God, managed to persuade one third of God's angels, to revolt against him because of his lies, him being the father of lies. You do know that God could have destroyed him and his followers with the breath of his mouth, but he did not do it, he showed grace, and was slow to anger. But Lucifer took God's tolerance as weakness, and raised up a rebellion, and introduced war into heaven, and the peace of heaven was taken away. He introduced hatred, and his brother angels, became his enemies, and his God became his obsession to destroy. And yet, God never lifted his hand until now, to destroy him. Why not? It is my thoughts that God has a ministry for that evil, and he will allow it for a limited time until the times of man has come to an end. God desired a family from his own essence, not by creation as were the angels, but from the same stuff he himself is made up of. So in order to receive children to himself after his kind, he decided that it would be by death, that that should be accomplished, and therefore created a temporary being that could die, and be resurrected into his essence. And in the wisdom of God, man was created for that cause. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God took the man, and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it, and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Can you see it? Do you realize that the first thought of us from God, was a love thought about us? God desired a thing after his kind to love on, and devised a plan to accomplish that, by a thing called death. You see, the angels that sinned, had no way to be saved from their sin, because they were eternal beings to begin with, and therefore could only be punished for their sins. But because of our ability to die, we can be resurrected into eternal life, with the inability to sin, if while we are alive we believed on Jesus. So in reality, the curse of death, is actually a blessing in disguise, to afford us, and only us with the ability to die, to enter again into life, with the essence of God, which is also the inability to sin.
Now, according to the book of Jubilees, while there was sinning going on in heaven, Adam enjoyed life on earth alone for 49 years, and without sin. While Adam was 49 years old, God put him to sleep, and took one rib from him, and made his wife, Eve. After Adam received his wife, they both lived seven years together without sin. And in that seventh year when Adam was 56 years old, and Eve was only seven, Satan left heaven, and came to earth to deceive the couple. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. I want to stop it here and bring this to your attention. In heaven before the earth was, Lucifer sowed discourse in heaven by telling lies against God, and he managed to persuade a third of the angels against God. Now, he has come down to the earth, to use that same tactic with Adam and Eve, to set a hostility between God and man, as he did in heaven between God and his angels. Therefore, the fall of man came by a fallen angel. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. So, when Adam was fifty-six, and Eve was seven, sin entered into the earth by an extraterrestrial being, and that being Lucifer, the fallen angel himself. And from that day until now, the human race is to experience evil, because we asked for it, through our father Adam, by the trickery of a bad angel. Now, according to the book of Enoch, some four hundred and sixty years later, during the days of Jared, there was another intrusion of the fallen angels, where two hundred of them came down from heaven, and took women to be their wives. Scripture says, And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. When Satan tempted man in the garden, afterwards, man was a novice in sin who knew only how to do good, and did not have the knowledge how to perform significant acts of sin. But that was about to change when the earth was invaded by the two hundred fallen angels, who also took wives of men, and had children by them, who were evil and greater than men. It was from these angels that man learned how to do horrendous acts of sins against God and beast and nature. It was the angel, Azazel, who God assigned all the sins of the earth, for his teaching to man, the secrets of heaven. He taught man how to work with metal and iron to create weapons of warfare, he taught the ladies cosmetics and how to beautify and adorn the body. He taught man the value of different stones such as gold and silver, brass and copper. He taught man how to use plants and herbs, to extract medicines and drugs from. And he taught them along with the other fallen angels, a host of other evil things, to include, bestiality, and many sins against the animals. He along with the other fallen angels, taught man everything we know today, and have continued to carry it on, since the day of their arrival, back in ancient times. And because every imagination of man's heart, was evil continually, because of the corruption of the angels upon the minds of men. God destroyed the earth, and every breathing thing, except for Noah and his family, 
and everything on the ark. When God warned Adam about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he knew that man would eventually come to sin, and he used the sin that was already happening in heaven, before the earth was, to give him the experience of sin, by a hands-on, learning. And man would be sorely tested with evil, even to the point of death. But remember this. The eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, is the same thing as asking for experiences of evil in order to have an authentic relationship with it. So, God is currently using Satan, to cause us to know evil, because we asked to know about it, by our father Adam, back in the beginning. No, it is not Eve's fault, that sin came into the world, for she was tricked by Satan into eating the fruit. But Adam willingly ate of the fruit, and it was only then, that God locked in man, to receive the knowledge of evil, of which he previously had no knowledge of. So the sad truth, of why God allows evil, is because, we ask to have a knowledge of it. But when Jesus comes back to rule and reign, the curse of that sentence will be lifted, and we from that point on, will only experience good. The original sin was created in heaven, before the earth was, by Lucifer, the master and father of lies, and when God created the earth, he gave man the choice to know evil, and when man said yes to evil, God used, and is still using Satan, to infect the earth with his evil, that originated in heaven. At this time I do want to give a disclaimer saying, that no one knows for sure, how sin came to actually happen in heaven, and I have taken creative license to portray what is known through scripture, and extra biblical sources, to show a concept of what may have happened, and what may have been said, during those times in heaven. This was quite interesting if I have to say so myself. What do you think? I would love to read your comments. If you are not a believer, and you wish to become one of those who cannot sin after his resurrection, and one who will have their current sins washed in his blood, tell God. I know I'm a sinner in need of a savior. Tell God. I believe Jesus died for my sins. Tell God. I believe he was dead and buried. And tell God. I believe he was raised on the third day. If your confession is from the heart, then at that day, you will be raised in the essence of God, with the inability to sin. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching. I believe that one day God is going to bring us all together, and tell us about, before the earth was, so that we can see the pieces come together, and the answers why, certain things had to run its course, before other things could come to be, until all things have been fulfilled. If this study has helped you, please share it with your family and friends, and subscribe and comment, and give it a thumbs up. According as he hath chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Amen.